Konnichiwa, my name is Dizakura, and you're watching PokéCast. Today's 10 minute first person video is going to be on a DS game, and that is Style Lab Jewelry Design. Okay, here's one of those games that really helped define what the DS was capable of, or at least some really cool features. The biggest feature about this game was you get to design your own jewelry, upload it to the website, and then buy it, and they'll ship it to you. And the jewelry that you created on your DS was then available for you to wear in real life. I think that was an amazing little thing that they added and did and made it fun. Really excited to have this one, give it a try and see what it's all about. Unfortunately, we can't do the uh, website because it's been shut down, all that jazz, but hey, it's still fun to have. As always, 10 minutes by the game, first on play game, a version of and I can't skip anything. Let's get that timer started. Timer's been started. And let's see. Nope. Does not work with the controller at all, so it looks like it's strictly going to be um, stylist only. Pre design. <laughs> there is a story mode. Wow. We're going to try story mode then. Chapter 1 getting started. Okay. No, no, I'm not being that person. No, I can't be anything else. Really, really. I have to be her. Whatever. That's me, apparently. Good morning, fellow student to be a design school graduate. Someone's excited to be getting her adventures in the big, wide world of fashion. Yeah, you know me, Leela, the brave and bold fashion stylist. How are things, Miss Jewelry Designer? Things are great. I'm learning so much. Speaking of which... Hey, Melina. If I say any of these names wrong, I do apologize. I just sometimes can't say names. I don't know why. You sure have your hands full. Hello. I hope you ate a big breakfast because we have a busy day ahead of us. I'm going to teach you all you need to know to be the best jewelry designer the world's ever seen. But won't that be more co competition for you? This isn't a race, Leela. I want to see all of my students grow to be big, bright stars. And once they do, I get the reward of knowing it was all thanks to me. It sure is. Let's get started. Prepare the boutique before opening for the day. Tap the door when you're ready for customers. Okay, so tap your laptop to view your profile. Profile and shop. A oh, portfolio. <laughs> wow. Okay. Alright, let me see. Shop. Welcome. How can I help you today? Um, Julie. Accessories. Bye. No. Can't do anything. I hate you. Uh, profile. Okay. You can. Uh, you are an explorer. You may not know what type of business owner you want to be, but you are. Willing to try anything. Okay. So, I can't even do anything in there. Um, anything else? Nope. Okay. Are you ready to start your day? Tap door. Tap the door. Tap door to open your boutique and start making customers' requests. Hello. Style is is the starting point of every design you will make. Customers will usually ask you for a style they like best. I could really use a new necklace with a light green and a nature theme to match my shirt. Okay. Simple necklaces and bracelets have no charms, pendants, or other dangles. Dongles. Yeah, whatever. Um, just be... <laughs> Um, 
Earring, earrings may contain these items, but they are, but they are the more simplistic designs. You can look for the flower icon on a design to make sure you are choosing what the customer asks you for. Why don't you try to make a simple necklace to start? Choose a simple design you'd love to make, and then pick the beads. Okay, I have an idea for your first necklace. It's really simple and cute. There's a cat on the screen. Can I kill the cat? Hmm. I threaten the cat's life and it walks off the screen. Hmm. And it walks back because now it wants to taunt me because I was making fun of it. First, make a simple beaded necklace. Pick a few beads that you like so you can string them on. Okay, how many beads should I pick? What does... Who cares? Let's move on. That's not really skipping. I just want to get on to making. Design jewelry. Okay, so we're doing simple necklace. Okay. She only wants us to do simple necklace. Okay. Use the circle motion to spin out the chain. Okay, this way. There we go. Beautiful. Nice work. You're really... Oh. Okay. Drag materials up to the tray that you want to use in your design. Hmm. Well, uh... We'll use that one. This one. And we'll throw some ugly orange in there just because. Okay. Drag materials from your tray and place them onto the template. Okay. Okay, now I get it. Clever. All right. I mean, it's just like a, right, when you're making a real necklace. And I totally messed up. Look at that. Oh, no! Right here, I messed up. Gotta make sure I do the right design. Don't wanna mess up. Okay, uh pink, orange, purple, pink, orange, and purple. Okay, complete this jewelry. Oh yeah. Okay. Gesture in the direction of the arrow to tie the clips. Okay. Okay. Tap the. Can't be to squish him. Okay. Then cut. Beautiful. This design is complete. Let's see what they think. Okay, this is very nice style. <laughs> I feel so happy. Okay. Good job. You are done with the f with the first necklace. So, it's simple. So, if simple is simple, then it makes sense that the next style is fun. What? <laughs> fun styles use beads too but they also add special items the one this one lets you use pendants pendants are found in the fourth drawer in your design kit they are rather large so it can only fit in a few places you can also add accent beads to your design, which you will find in the same drawer as your pendant. Accent beads are bigger and more special than regular beads and can only fit into certain spots in the design. 
These spots are where a pendant would go or in other in their own accent slot. Be sure to pay attention to what your fit what will fit in your design. Sometimes you need accent beads to fulfill a request. If you make a mistake though, you can always go back into your drawer uh, kit to choose more. Why don't you make a fun necklace now? It has a party hat icon. Alright, the next design is a fun necklace with beads and there's the evil cat again. And a pendant. The uh, process is similar except this time pick out a few pendants and accent beads for the center slot and experiment. Okay. Let's go over it. I don't have very much time left. Yep. All right, circular motion. Yeah, beautiful. There goes the timer right as I'm starting to make my second necklace. That sucks. Okay. I have to say, I was I was uh, very surprised to see that he made a story mode to it, but it, I think it's a good idea because for the girls who picked up this game are like, oh, sweet, I get to make necklaces, yay! And then this right here helps give direction to where they should go and important little details of maybe you should try this because you don't want to make a horrible-looking necklace that when you buy and you get it home, you'd be like, everybody have a refund. This sucks. I'll give it to my brother or your younger sister, you know, type thing. So I can see why they would have a story mode because honestly if the game was just strictly you making jewelry ordering it online and receiving it that would be a very boring game though it would be an app more because I do have apps that are similar to this type thing but I'm happy they added the, the story mode in because without a doubt the girls probably wanted I should say gamers in general, sorry. Uh, the, the the gamers who are going to play this game would like to have a story mode. That way there's something else to it. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It looks like it's going to be more like a, uh, you know, your basic diner dash type thing or um, store sim to where you're just going to be making different things. I'm really excited. Um... I've had similar experiences in some of the other games that I played that they'll give you a, like, okay, I'm looking for something like this. And then you go and you make it, you know, makeup, clothing, whatever. It really adds to the game. So this will be at least a fun one. No, this will be a fun one if you're into the fashion design part because those games can be fun. Also, like I said, I love the idea that we can go make, upload, and be able to just, you know, buy and receive what we make on the game. Now, once again, as a disclaimer, um, after they turned off the DS and DSi um, online features, you can no longer go onto that website, and that website's probably been closed down for a couple of years. So, for all of you who are like, oh, I'm going to go do this, this sounds awesome. Get the game, but you can't do the, the 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 extra feature, unfortunately. So my question for this game would be: What do you guys think? Uh, do you guys enjoy fashion games, or do you see them just as a waste of space or whatever? I personally think that they're a lot of fun, um, and they can add something, especially when they're start trying to do the whole store aspect, because that is a lot of fun. Well, as always, thank you guys for watching. It, it was fun to give this one a try. I've been meaning to, and yeah. This is Tisa Curtis saying ciao and sayonara.